welcome to Tokyo again. This is actually my last morning. I take a flight out this afternoon, and uh, I'm here with Vanessa, Savo, and, uh, yeah, Savo, Sevio, and yeah. Sevio. Sorry, didn't mean to butcher his name, and Steve. And we're going to the, shoot, how do you say it again? Tsukiji Fish Market. Tsukiji Fish Market, which is the really famous fish market here in Tokyo. It's, I believe, the largest one as well. And if you guys watch Anthony Bourdain, I believe he did the, the fish market during the tuna sales in the morning, but those normally start around 5.30, so we weren't getting up for that. One, please. Okay. About three of them, it's gonna be gone. The non one. Arigato So we've decided to get a snack before the snack because we're gonna have sushi for breakfast. Wow. My friend, I Pretty good? Yeah, oh. okay. very gelatinous. Gelatinous. <laughs> <laughs> mm, the red bean. I think this guy wants us to eat somewhere. This is means it's got more fat. This is Lena. Try it or don't try it? It's really, really, really fishy. Like, All right. it smacks you in the face with fishy. I think I'm going to save really my good. money for something more enjoyable than <laughs> How sharp is it? Can you cut something? <laughs> it's like butter. Effortless. <laughs> So those knives we just looked at are some of the sharpest knives I've ever seen. Um, they're handmade Japanese knives for cooking, which they're about $150, so sorry I didn't get any presents for anybody. Okay. I thought it was an animal. So it looks like my final meal here in Japan before I have to eat airline food on the way back is uh, gonna be at this little place having a tuna bowl. Alright, 
so I just went back to the hostel and picked up my bags from the storage and uh, said goodbye to all the people that I met yesterday and went to the market with today and now I'm headed to the airport. <laughs> Made it to Narita. Now time to check in and hope I get an upgrade. Uh, check in for yes. um, International. Where are you going? Minneapolis, Minnesota. I thought you were going to my place. No, I'm uh, going. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Have a nice flight. Okay? Thank you very much. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Yourself? I'm not doing too bad. Hey, may I see your passport and boarding passport? Of course. There you are. Thank you. Hello, how are you? For the first time in a long time, they actually took everything out of my bag and uh, put it all through the scanner separately, which isn't a big surprise to me. It's happened a lot before because I carry a lot of electronics in my bag, but it just hasn't happened in a while. So today is April 17th and I booked a trip last night back to Minneapolis on June 30th which um, nobody knows about except uh, two friends of mine so I'm not going to be telling my parents and uh, I'm going to surprise them. So I'm going to give it back to me in the future now who's probably at the airport in uh, Tokyo getting ready to board the plane. Alright so I made it to the gate and my flight is about uh, two hours away. Uh, we board in about an hour and a half. My family and most of my friends think that this flight is going to be to Melbourne which in a way it is because I booked a flight to Melbourne but it does have a month layover in the States so I'm actually coming home to surprise my parents and my friends. My plane lands at 1.30 p.m. in Minneapolis and I actually have a friend that I told um, about a month ago that I was coming back so he's going to pick me up at the airport and then it's about a two hour drive from Minneapolis back to my home. Zone 3, so I have to board last, pretty much. on the road I'm finally back home but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making travel videos or anything like that I'll pick up again with more of the international travel when I head to Australia at the end of the month also a fun fact since uh, Tokyo is 14 hours ahead in time and I crossed the international dateline coming back and it only took 11 hours to fly from Tokyo to Minneapolis I actually arrived in Minneapolis three hours before I left Tokyo so today June 30th for me personally has 14 extra hours in it. 
also my friend Chris that you might remember from some of the earlier videos in Amsterdam and Prague and uh, Berlin and Oktoberfest and stuff. Um, he's actually picking me up, but he's a little bit late. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to be back. Uh, Not too bad. I thought I was going to be the late one. I was going to be on time. Well, it was bound to happen. After 10 months of traveling, I lost the SIM card for my phone here at Verizon. So I came back, and Ashley here is going to help me get a new one. <laughs> and Chris is just going to play with the VR. So we're back in Clear Lake, we're getting really close to my house to surprise my parents. And we picked up a few things I bought off Amazon. Like my dog! And yeah, we got a dog now. We bought that off Amazon too. <laughs> now we just decided to bring Chris's dog with us for a little bit. Sophie! Look at Sophie. Alright, so I'm going to start the Skype call right now and put it on speakerphone. Sophie, what are we doing? Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, I just got into Australia. I just got a SIM card. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay, so what time is it there? Ah, it's early in the morning. That's kind of what I thought. So what are you up to? Yeah, what are you, you watching? Make it to your hostel yet? Yeah, I'm just about there. I'm walking down the oh, street. Oh, you're... oh, okay. Oh, we're just watching Blue Bloods. It's almost 9 o'clock at night here, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. So, how was your flight? Long, I'm really tired. Yeah, um, what are you cooking for supper tonight? I cooked, or I got pizza ranch chicken. Oh, okay, that sounds fine. Where are you at? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I planned this. Oh my god, Barry! How are you doing? Oh, Jay! Uh. I'm your baddie's dad! Oh, <laughs> Ah, good to see you guys. <laughs> uh. Oh my god! Yeah, see, I can, I can keep How secrets. How did you do that? Uh, I booked it like a month and a half ago, two months ago. Oh, jeez! Yeah, so I, everything I kept saying to you was leading you toward Australia. Technically, okay. technically I do have a flight booked for Australia at the end of the month, but it was cheaper. You're home for a month? Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing below for all of the newest content. It does help me out. And remember, you don't have to spend a fortune to have an adventure. So these armors are mainly made from iron.